spit jihad, the latest anti-Muslim accusation from Hindu nationalists. On November, on Monday, November 15th, a seven-second video of quote-unquote evidence of thuk or spit jihad spread like wildfire on social media and was amplified by several right-wing Indian media outlets. The video shows a Muslim man baking chapatis or um, unleavened flatbread and allegedly spitting on the bread. The man filming the video can be heard calling Muslims pigs and encouraging others to quote unquote boycott these mullahs. Hardline right wing groups in India are using the video and similar footages to accuse Muslim minorities of attacking Hindus by contam contaminating their food. The Muslim man seen on the video was detained following a complaint filed by uh, Hindu Raksha Dal or Hindu Safety Organization. Uh, speaking to The Wire, a worker from a popular restaurant in Delhi explained that sometimes the bakers need to blow extra dry flour so that the bread will stick properly while being cooked. Uh, quote, these videos are false stories meant to spread hatred, the worker added. Wait, so if it's false, then what actually happened? So um, there's, I've watched a lot of these videos and well, the the, oh the quality of the footage isn't always very good, so it's hard to actually to, like for you to say um, what um, is going on. But basically, you see someone like going down into close to the yeah. It doesn't look like an actual spit. Like we don't know. Yeah, so supposedly person, they're blowing so air into it. Is... So I've heard multiple <laughs> explanations for this. I've heard um, some people say that. Um, it it like the worker was saying, oh, it's to like blow flour into it to make sure that things cook properly. And then I've heard some other sources say that it's part of like an archaic tradition that actually not many people do called like the Fatiha Jalana, where you're supposed to blow on people to give them blessings. So sometimes they like blow on, well, on a kid's I mean, head okay, to give that child blessings or they'll blow on the food. So there are like multiple explanations for what's actually going on here. I mean, but, if they're doing that, that should stop. That's not sanitary, but it's not like spit jihad. And it's not, yes. it, 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 yeah, okay. That's like horrible. Like it's a horrible thing to do, especially now with this whole, um, the cove thing situation going around. But again, I, I, I feel like we're, we're in a situation in India that like we're going to find like videos of, I don't know, Muslims exercising and they're going to be like fit jihad. They're like they're getting they're getting fit so that for the day that comes and they're going to take over India. And then like, I don't know, like you're going to see um, Muslims, I don't know, like sleeping and they're going to be like sleep jihad. They're like getting a lot of rest so that they could attack us more effectively. I don't know. We have to come. We have to come up with our own like conspiracy jihad in India. Like some, if I could think of something. Well, that's just to why make fun I wanted. That's why I wanted to cover this story because this is just the latest installment of our Fifty Shades of Jihad. <laughs> <laughs> we ha we wait, have so far. We have love jihad. Yeah. We have land jihad. We have jihad. Um, spit jihad. We have. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Oh shoot! There was another one, fruit jihad, which ties Wait, into the spit jihad thing. Oh my god! What Do you remember fruit what? jihad? No. What is fruit jihad? So at the beginning, can we? Are we? Um, all right. Can we? Can we talk about the 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 cove? Not like just say detail. cove. Okay. Just so the cove. in the beginning of the big disease that's been going around for the past two years, okay, there was a conspiracy theory that Muslims, um, particularly street vendors and fruit vendors, were spitting on fruit that they were going to sell to Hindus to contaminate mm -hmm. them, to give them the cove, we all know what I'm talking about, and to make them sick, apparently. Um, this was proved to be false. And what's interesting about this spit jihad thing coming up um it, once again is that a lot of i was reading different um uh indian websites that were looking at like media analysis of how indian media covered this and a lot of the um the footages that were used in these reports that like came up again recently ha were already they were old they had already been proved disproved 
many times and they were recycling them. So they were like recycling um, fake news stories about this spitting thing. And I read this whole analysis of how on, um, I think it's News 18, I can't remember the name of the um, anchor of the news program off the top of my head, but they were basically trying to frame this as, oh, it doesn't matter what the religion is. It doesn't matter what the community is. Like, this is a sanitary issue. And if, like, yeah. that I actually agree with. But that I actually agree the, with. But you guys, the, re but you guys the remainder of their news program, the remainder of their news program was like, I don't even know if you can call it thinly veiled anti-Muslim bigotry because I think it just was. Yeah. <laughs> and it was so bad to the point that this is he news actually source, spitting? Um, like, look at this video. Is he actually spitting in the food? This so is this like, is an older this is an older clip that's already been disproven. Right, so apparently, thing, this is actually not anti-Hindu. I think this is anti-Muslim Muslims. Like I think a lot of these food is going to be eaten by other Muslims, and they're spitting in it. Like this is this is not spit jihad. This is like a sanitary issue that I think most of the victims of it are going to be other Muslims because I mean, Muslims cook food for other Muslims more often. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Also, I think like also I think like. This is like a self-fulfilling, might end up being self, a self-fulfilling uh, policy, uh, prophecy every time they come up with one of these jihads. Like, it might be just like one person that might like, or maybe it wasn't even a thing, and then now you guys made it a thing. I mean, like, there are 200 million Muslims in India, okay? Like, almost 200 million, okay? So if you go, if like, if there wasn't a spit jihad, and now you go around and go be like, hey, they're doing this to Hindus. I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of these Muslims are like, at least some of them, I mean, a lot of them are upset with Hindus. Some of them, I mean, at least some of them are going to be wanting to get revenge. And now that you go out and say like, hey, they're spitting in food and giving it to Hindus. Some of them are going to be like, you know what? Maybe I should. You know what I mean? Like you're giving... <laughs> like maybe you're making it a thing. Maybe it wasn't a thing, and now you're making it a thing by by spreading these ideas. I don't know. Do you think that's possible? Um, I don't know. I think it's hilarious I mean, 200... how Hindu Hindutva Susanna here is saying atheist defending spit jihad. Lord Anapura, <laughs> <laughs> please forgive humans. Okay, I don't know where you heard us defend this. I've just been trying to explain what's happening It's here. a joke. I do she's, think she's this joking. is unsanitary. I think mm. the difference is how it's been amplified as um, a, a way to target, harass, and demonize Muslims. Um, so, and I read a really interesting article that detailed the organization this hindu safety organization that filed these complaints and basically they have a pattern of um trying to expose these people uh meaning muslims for like purposefully contaminating the food of hindus and um they, this is like this is a pattern and it's, this is something they seem to seek out and they're affiliated yeah. with all of these people who have either been arrested or gotten in major trouble for spreading serious violent like incitement to violence rhetoric against muslims and um even in their videos when they're catching people doing these things and then they later try to frame it as oh this is just a this is in no matter the community this is a health issue in the video where they're framing these people um you can hear them saying bigoted things against muslims so it kind of uh, undercuts their credibility yeah you know um, actually one thing like, hold on um one thing that you have to realize that people are like well this is still a sanitary issue like yeah and you're ruining the investigation of it by calling it spit jihad and being such anti-muslim bigots you know what i mean like you're making it uh, you know first of all you're going to be spreading it uh, second of all you're going to make it in, you're going to make something that was maybe a sanitary issue into a conspiracy theory and also that and that's how you're going to make it a lot harder to deal with so congratulations maybe just like maybe if you see something that is a sanitary issue just report it as a sanitary issue rather than goddamn spit jihad uh, you know what i mean also raman in the live chat is saying there's probably also poop jihad what would that be like poop jihad 
Are they going to be starting? Are they gonna, I don't know. Somebody explain to us. Are they going to start throwing feces at each other? I hope not. Um, <laughs> yeah, go on. So it's interesting because a lot of this ties back into in the beginning of the cove, the disease. Um, okay. There were there was a huge issue with this viral story about um, basically Muslims being the purveyor of Cove and being dirty and being the ones who are basically unleashing this like foreign disease upon India. And this was partially blamed on this Islamic missionary group called Tablighi Jamaat. And um, the research or evidence that i've seen i mean okay well one i do think tablighi jamaat like is possibly a cult so i don't approve of that organization i just want to say that first but basically it's been widely discredited that just like muslims are the reasons why um uh the cove spread in india there was a lot more than going into it so it it this is like the latest continuation in a wider narrative that's been amplified over the past two years of Muslims being the purveyor of disease in India. Um, uh, because no other community has been seen doing it. No videos of evidence or Hindus, Buddhists, or Christians doing this. I highly doubt that. I'm sure you can find this. Um. <laughs> Cosm is saying Armin left for P jihad. True. Um uh Meguman is saying Tablighi Jamaat is a gang of fundamentalist Muslims who want all Muslims to live like the seventh century in this time and age. Yeah, no, Tablighi Jamaat, like I'm super sketched out by them. I I uh, yeah, it's a I'm very I need to learn more about the organization, but I everything I have learned so far, I'm not a fan of at all. Um, well, and what's interesting? Yeah, you, well, actually, can I respond to something you highlighted? Go, go ahead. When you say because no other community has been uh, doing it, I mean, no other community has uh, a, a billion. Well, I mean, not a billion. A, a many um, Hindus walking around recording them what trying to catch them do some form of a jihad you know what i mean <laughs> like i'm sure you're going to, i'm sure given how much anti-muslim bigotry in, it, it exists in india and given how many people with phone are just going to just walking around trying to catch a muslim do something that they could put on social media i'm sure you're, you're going to find some things you know what i mean like uh, you know so that's why it might be this this you're going to find more things Muslim doing than any other community. Right. But yeah, go on. So a large part of this conspiracy theory was amplified by, um, let me find his name really quickly. Um, Aman Chopra on his, uh, show that he has on news 18. And, um, ironically, the name of his TV show was called, we will not let the country lower itself where he has like the, what a horrible record on um, terms of his credibility of his journalism. <laughs> wow. So, um, it got majorly amplified, uh, by him putting and dedicating an hour, an hour of Indian news time to wow. this story where he had a whole panel on talking about this and it included, um, former BJP spokesman, and um uh two uh muslim panelists as well i believe as well as um several other uh like hardline hindutva um supporters and the like it they tried to um just just the narratives that they were putting forth about muslims was crazy so it very quickly devolved into asking if muslims like also pee in the food for other people like there's this wow. one specific kind of um dish where they're like does it get it does it get the yellow color because they're peeing in it and oh my God. they make vague references to like muslim bollywood actors like spitting on people and this is like the way that the um, english translations of the news program um uh, communicate this it makes it sound as if they're like attributing some sort of like 
mysterious power of vigor like to the spit of the muslims because they were making a reference to the bollywood actor amir khan like he would do a prank where he would like spit on someone's hand instead of doing a palm reading and obviously from his name he has a muslim background also amir khan must be protected at all, at all costs that's just my own prerogative but <laughs> yeah. um and um yeah they were they were talking about um how like muslims have like just taken over all the, it just it just devolved into all these different aspects and conspiracy theories against muslims particularly in uttar pradesh which isn't entirely surprising but what makes this even more worrying is that okay so one they aired this on i think it was the 18th and then very shortly afterwards they removed all of the footage of this from their own youtube channel because they could probably tell very quickly that this violates all sorts of terms of service for YouTube. Also, it's blatantly false. And yeah, then also guys, the, like, wait, let's just be clear. No, 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 no. Before, before, before you finish YouTube, none of this is our view. Uh, we are just reporting what other people are doing. The, we are like, this is not our views. We're just reporting the news and we're against these uh, conspiracy theories being spread. Yeah. Go on. Yes. Well, so not only was this amplified by Amon Chopra on his show, um, it also, um, the, the title of this segment was called like spit jihad, like spit jihad, like jihad or barbarism. And then the next day, what Narendra Modi, the next day, Martin, the prime minister Modi follows Chopra on Twitter and he had this huge announcement. So many people are seeing this as an endorsement in many ways from the prime minister himself after okay, like, a, this big segment. I don't know. I think that's another conspiracy. We don't know. But I, might, I, I just want to say, like, it must be really stressful to be Muslim in India right now, right? Like, think about, like, you could do... By the way, here's the thing. If you're Muslim and... and and you're in India and a Hindu does something unfair to you. I don't know if you could like do anything about it because you're, you could, you get into so much trouble. Like everything you do is being watched and monitored and could be attributed to the entire Muslim community um, at large. If you just do any miss, any mistakes, like it's kind of like in China, but by the people, like the level of monitoring that is ha being happening. Like, look, China is monitoring Muslims, but India doesn't have to. You just have the community just recording them nonstop. And just like, like if you just step out of the house, you just have to know, like, I better not misbehave today or else I could be, you know, become used as fuel for hatred against all Muslims in all the entirety of India. Um, I don't know. That seems like extremely stressful. But what do you think? Oh, I mean, I agree. I think it obviously um, depends a lot on your area. So I have friends that are Indian Muslims, and um, I I don't get the impression that it's um, it's an active part of their daily worry. But yeah, it, it definitely highly depends on your um, community and your locality. Um. D is saying anti-Muslim bigots will try to make even the best people look bad with this nonsense. True. Um, I Okay, but I have an assignment. Okay, first of all, blank name is saying, does Susie have a crush on Amir Khan? The answer is yes. Okay. Lagan and Three Idiots are two of my favorite movies of all times. Okay. Anyways, um, I need someone to help me make a little graphic design for Fifty Shades of Jihad. I want a Fifty Shades of Jihad shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, i'm just trying to figure out what would the graphic be that just seems like the opportunity for a fantastic t-shirt <laughs> and i want it can we can we make it uh, a big dsm theme like muslims will come and they would like tie you up in this position and then they would edge you edge, edge jihad edge jihad oh, no hey <laughs> like i don't know the hog jihad the edge jihad I don't know. We could come up with other things. Yeah, we could make it sexy. We could make it appealing. We could make like Hindus who are subs all of a sudden be like, "Wait, is this what Muslims actually do? Like, maybe we should. Maybe this was a mistake. Maybe we should like let them." 
but <laughs> that's my plan. I know this, I'm going to bring the community together. Um, <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so yeah, like you Hindus, you've been dominated once before by Islam, but this time you would actually enjoy it. How about that? Oh my God, that's not going to go over well. <laughs> no. No, no, it's like not gonna go over well. As they dominated the Islamic Empire dominated you once and you didn't like it. But they, they will dominate it, they will dominate you again, and this time they will make up for it by making you actually like it. Yeah, this is actually good. I like it. I like it. We should go with that. The the jihad that Hindus will actually <laughs> say ne not use their safe word on. Well, I guess I'm, <laughs> I don't. Know, we have to. I have to think about it. Yeah, they will need, say no to, to take that they will, to the writers. They room. will say they will say no to, but do they actually mean it? I don't know. I don't know. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need to workshop that one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Armin, isn't that what radical Hindus made of? You? Um, no, that was like completely. Yeah, that was uncontent. This is this is like something about something that is um, people want. Yeah? This is about something that is like completely um, consensual, right? We're going to bring Hindus and Muslims together, right? Uh, was this, there was a also, what? I, uh, Viraj is saying there was also IAS Jihad, where they maligned these hardworking, studious Muslims who topped the national exam for development of the country. Well, oh, there was yes, a conspiracy, that, yeah. That we they should add that have to gotten the those results themselves. Yes, we should add that to the list. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below. 